All right, now that we've learned the basics of combinatorics, let's look at a couple of example problems. An event has a 1 out of 12 probability of success. If there are four events, what is the probability that exactly two will succeed? Well, if you remember our formula, we had C parentheses A to the power of K and then B to the power of N minus K. So we just need to fill these in right here. Well, first off, C was our number of combinations. And if we have four choose two, because we have four total and we are choosing two, if you remember that from our Sierpinski's triangle or you calculate it out, you should get C equals six. Well, we know that A is 12 because A was our chance of success. Sorry, that's A is 1 over 12, not 12. A is 1 over 12. Which means that B is 11 over 12, because if we do 1 minus 1 over 12, we get 11 over 12. Lastly, we need K and N minus K. Well, we know that K is the number of successes, so we need two successes and n is our total number so four is our total number of events so n is equal to four so now all i have to do is plug these into this right here so i start with six and then i'm going to put my probability inside the parentheses here so i'm going to have one over twelve My power is going to be 2 right there. And then B will be 11 over 12. And then if we have 4 minus 2, that will also give us a, uh, a power of 2 over here. Now this right here, I can type in exactly like that into my calculator. I'm going to use my favorite calculator, the TI-83. And um, the fractions, I'm just going to have as division. So I'm going to have 1 over 12 in the parentheses right there. So I'm going to start off with 6, parentheses 1 divided by 12 to the power of 2, parentheses 11 over, divided by 12 also to the power of 2. So for those of you following along with the calculator, it should look something like that right there. So I'm going to hit enter. And this is going to give me 0 0.035 and so on and so on and so on. We don't really need all of the decimals because it's not incredibly helpful. But that 0 0.035 is. So that means we've got about a 3.5% chance of getting exactly two successes when we have four possibilities total. So this is one type of problem that we can have right here. Now this is not the only type of problem, so let's take a look at the second type of problem that we're going to look at today. So if an event has a 1 out of 12 probability, same as last time, of success, what is the overall probability of having at least two successes out of four? So we could have two, we could have three, we could have four successes out of four. Um, and we could calculate out the probability of 2 plus the probability of 3 plus the probability of 4, but that's a lot of calculations. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to do 1 minus the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1. So what we're doing here is we're figuring out what's the probability of basically not being successful. What's the probability of us not getting at least two successes? So that's the probability of zero successes and the probability of one success. And we're going to do one minus that. So we're basically taking the inverse 
of what it is that we're actually looking for and we're going to subtract, uh, we're going to do one minus that right there. And that'll give us what we're actually looking for with a little bit less work. So if I'm going to go through this a little bit faster here, um, just to show you that once you sort of get the hang of this, things get a little bit easier. So first off, the probability of zero. Well, uh, for choose zero, there's only one way of drawing that out. And our success was one over 12. And that is to the power of zero because we don't have any successes at all. And our uh, failure is 11 out of 12. And we have all four that are failures for that possibility. So for the probability of zero, we have zero successes and four failures. And if we calculate that out real quick, we get 0 0.706. So there's about a 71% uh, chance of getting zero successes with four possibilities. So now let's figure out the probability of one. Memorizing my, uh, my Pascal's triangle, I know that there are four ways of choosing one thing when we have four possibilities. Our probability of success stays the same, but now we need one success. So rather than having a zero here, we're going to have a one. Pro uh, probability of failure is still the same, but now we don't have four failures. We are only going to have three because there are four total and we need um, one of them to be a success. So four minus one will give us three right here. Now we want to plug this into our calculator and work it out as well. And when we do that, we get 0 0.257 uh, if we round to the third decimal place. So we have the probability of 0 and we have the probability of 1. We want to add these together. And so I just add those real quick. 0 0.706 plus 0.257. And this gives us 96.3. So probability of 0 or 1 is 0 0.963. And so if we want the probability of 2 or more, so we now want to do 1 minus 0 0.963 and this should give us 0 0.037 so that means if you have a 1 out of 12 chance a 1 out of 12 probability and you have 4 chances you only have a 3.7% chance of getting at least two of those successful. 